All right, quick explanation how to do the, the chains. Not going to go into too much detail because it's kind of self-explanatory. A couple tips. Well, if you got chains, I got hooks bent like this. You want the hook away from the tire, not punching into the tire. So this would be the inside. The tire would go in here. There's a couple ways to do it. You can lay them out, drive the tractor on them. That's fine. You can put them on and roll them over. That's fine. However you get them on there, as you get them on there, you want to keep pulling them tight. One trick we recommend highly is to air your tires down. Makes them go on a little easier, but then you can air them up and they'll be tight. If you've got loaded tires, then obviously make sure your valve is above your liquid. You can air them down however you choose. It's easy for us just to do this. So we're going to do this tractor this way. Get them even. And just kind of roll them over. Make sure they roll. And then as you get ready to connect it, you want to make sure you pull each link back tight from all the way over. All right, so get on it. If you got two people helping, have somebody hold the tire and hold that. And really start yanking on this. Give them good yanks, I already did. And then make sure your crossbars are all pretty horizontal. Make sure the chain is not kinked on the inside or the outside. So you want the inside to look like this as well. And again, just pull them tight. You can, depending on your tire size, your chains, you may have to overlap them. They may fight, and you might have to really pull on them to get them to hook up. Everyone's going to be a little different. That's why you got different links here. But to get this side set up with a link on it, so you got this hook here. Make sure again it's facing away. And if you can, you want want this slack link above it. If you got enough room to do that, like that. And then you can start pulling on this side if you need to. This has got kind of the, the leverage lock on it. And then find a, a loop or a link that this will go through. It's just a little bit longer. They'll work just fine. And then this will essentially clasp over into a link. When you're doing this, make sure... This is away from the tire. This hooks away from the tire. And we're gonna stretch these a little bit now. So, handy little tool. Now, like I said, these chains aren't, aren't too short, but sometimes you'll get them, they'll be a little short, a little tight. We let the air out of the tire, so that's really helping us. But say they were too short and you couldn't reach, you have to hook this chain in between where you gotta go. You pull on it and it gives you all that extra slack now. And then you can hook into where you gotta go. If you need more, then you hook down in a further, further hole. So these work really well, they're pretty simple. Kind of like an old chain binder on, a, on the trucks is how they're basically set up. And you just pull your slack at it. So you're gonna wanna find your furthest link. You can actually get this in and cam it over. One tip is the link you're going in, if it's one of these kind of links, put your slack above it. That way it doesn't get in the way of you camming this over. And then your slacks out of your way there and then you can come back and hook it into whatever hole you can get it in and again you can use those little tools if you need to pull more slack out of it to get this tight all right you want to make sure that's not hooking into your tire these are facing out there's not enough slack in here to catch your fenders and rip your fenders off and you got to go back and forth tighten one side tighten the other you can put two of these binders on we've got two of them if you need them and you want to keep pulling your slack as you're going and get it as tight as you can the first time around because they do loosen up as you're running them it's just going to happen you can see as I pull this up you gotta be mindful not to get your chain you're working with bunched up too much or puncture your tire. But you'll see I can pull that. That holds that tight. And now I got this all loose in here. 
and depending on where my hook is I can hook this in so here's the hook I can go up higher now and you can just keep working it that way and that's if you want to get real picky chances are if you air this tire up and put this to the highest hold you can right now it would hold so a lot of guys will run bungees from here to here and that's not a bad idea they make chain tensioners also keeps the, taint, the chain tight from walking off and getting wrapped around the inside the axle or catching your fender another tip is you can do a couple things you can crimp these over with a pair of pliers you could take some wire and wrap it around there some guys will actually take the threaded replacement chain links and go from here to here so those are all things you can do because you're, you're on stones you're on rocks you're on gravel you're on uh, pavement things get caught here they open up your chains come off and before you air your tire up you want to make sure your chains are kind of centered so you got the same amount on the inside as you do with the outside and then make sure your links are kind of horizontal it's pretty simple basic stuff the tighter you get them the better but once you air them up they'll they'll tighten up on you and you don't want anything to catch your fenders okay after you get your chains all set where you want Tear them up and see if you're happy with the tension. Sometimes you gotta go back and tighten them, readjust them. You can see they're tightened right up. You wanna get tighter you can. But they don't want to be super tight. You just don't want them slipping or coming off. Take your tails, tie them up somehow with zip ties or a little piece of wire. Sometimes you can open these up and hook them back in if you wanna get a real clean look. But you don't want them catching on your fender, beating up your paint, getting caught underneath the tire or on something. So all you gotta do is just get them out of the way so they ain't flopping around. And then again, you could take this and close it up with a pair of pliers. Just make sure it's not digging in your tire. And then, usually if they're brand new chains, you're gonna have to tighten them up again because they wear a little bit, they stretch. Running bungees or chain tighteners across the outside doesn't hurt anything. Um, being truck tire size, a lot of people use truck tire chains and they work great they're heavier duty sometimes they're a little extra long because some of the truck tires are taller and you can overlap them and do the same thing it's not the end of the world just tie up before you overlap tie up on the side and make sure you just don't catch your fender on the inside or the or here or on the inside because they are pretty tight here so if you are over, overlapping just be mindful of that and uh it's not uncommon to have to tighten up chains during during the season or a new set of chains down the road if your tires just drop air a little bit just pay attention put more air on them but pretty straightforward there's all different kinds of chains these are called two bar meaning there's a, a crossbar every two the four bars have them every four then there's ice chains there's logging chains where there's cleats welded on here you got diamonds across you got verticals there's all different kinds of chains basically put them all on the same way there's cam, uh, cam lock chains which actually got a, a little tool that you lock the chains in with so you, 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 cam it, you cam it over, you use this tool and it locks them in. But the principle is basically the same. Be safe. Please be sure to subscribe and like. And have a good time. Thanks for watching.